Hi guys. Thank you so much for joining. Okay, so I'm going to wait about a minute or two and just to let everybody start coming in. Okay, so I see a lot of our exhibiting artists are already joining us. Hi everyone. Hi Aksa, hi Diane, hi Matthew. I see Alexis joining us here. Some of our teachers as well. Thank you so much for everyone joining me tonight. I see Stephanie Lopez has, is here. Hi, Craig, one of our teachers for the exhibiting students. Thank you so much for coming, guys. I see Katerina Kovacic is here. Hi, Lily Seely. So many of you guys, I'm really excited. Oh, thank you, Craig, of course, for joining us. I am really happy to have you here. Okay, I'm just catching up on all these comments. Okay, so uh, thank you so much for the compliments on the website. We're really excited to have the new one up. Hi, Sally Rosenthal. Okay, so lots of our exhibiting artists are here tonight. Hi, Joy. Oh, I see our curator, Carly, is also here as well. And Nancy, our guest juror. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Lots of comments. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I see Vanessa from John F. Kennedy Belmore is here. Hello. So I'm going to give it about maybe 30 seconds to a minute more just to let everybody come through and then I'll officially get started. Hi, Aksa. What's up, Vivid Colors? Hey, Noel. Okay, and I see somebody from Cold Spring Harbor is joining us and congratulating Gloria, Mimi, and Anna. And some family members and friends as well. Hey, everyone. Okay. So I'm solely going to go ahead and get started. Uh, if you are one of the exhibiting students who's going to be coming on later tonight, please make sure to send a request right now so I have it, and then it'll be an easier transition to get you guys on the live. Hi, hello from Levittown. Okay, and I see Huntington Fine Arts is joining us as well. Thanks for all the support, guys. I'm super excited to get this started. Okay, so as you guys can see here, we have our logo in the back. This is special for the 2020 Long Island's Best. If you can see, I'm matching. I'm wearing black and I match my lipstick as well. Okay, so without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And then as people come in, I will try to catch them up to my best of my ability. Okay, and I see some support for Long Beach and a lot of different places, a lot of different schools. All right. So hi everyone, and welcome to the first ever virtual Long Island's Best opening reception and award ceremony. Uh, my name is Lisa Sayeti, and I'm the lead educator at the Heckscher Museum of Art. So I'm gonna be your host for today's event, and I'm super, super excited to have you all join me today. Okay, so as uh, we're as, uh, as I'm opening everything up, I'm seeing a lot more people coming in. We uh, people from Station East, Northport, Half Hollow Hills. Thank you so much for coming tonight. We have a lot of awesome things prepared. So, uh, if you're an exhibiting artist or a teacher, please send a wave, uh, put some hearts out there, throw some confetti. You guys should all be really excited about this amazing achievement. There are lots of hearts, lots of confetti, and wave. All right, awesome. So like I mentioned, I'm very excited and happy to have you all be joining me tonight. And I'm not only going to be taking this time to uh, be announcing this year's exhibiting artists, but I also have several special guests planned to make their way on here with me. And some of those, including our exhibiting and award-winning artists, who will get to have a little bit of a Q&A with us later on in the, in the night. So please make sure to stay the whole time and get you'll be able to hear some of the behind the scenes with the kids' work. So without further ado, uh, I would like to introduce our very first guest of the night, and it, it helped me introduce our 
Executive Director and CEO, Dr. Michael Schantz. So we're gonna go ahead and get him on here. So we're gonna give a second for him to get connected. Hi, Michael. Lisa, how are you? It works. Very good. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. My pleasure. Am I good to go? You are good to go. Super. Uh, I just want to say I'm delighted to be uh, part of the Hexer first Instagram live program that you let someone as old as me participate is terrific. Mm -hmm. Let me briefly say that uh, on behalf of the museum's board of trustees and staff, I want to congratulate all 100 of the exhibiting artists, as well as their teachers and, of course, their families. On a personal note, let me mention that I have seen a lot of art and many, many exhibitions over my nearly 40 years as a museum director. I can honestly say that the level of quality of the works of art in this show is simply stunning. It is as good as it gets. Mm -hmm. All of the artists should be very proud indeed of what they have accomplished. And finally, let me give a shout out to the many sponsors that provide the financial underpinning for the Long Island's Best program. We deeply appreciate their support, and a list of those sponsors will be noted at the end of the awards ceremony. And with that, I will give the floor back to you, Lisa, but not before thanking you on behalf of all of us for being the MC. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much, Michael. It's our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the live. I, I will. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, so I could not agree with Michael Moore. I am honestly astounded by all of the work that we were able to get in this year. Uh, so everybody, for all of the artists who are watching, please pat yourselves on the back. You have done an incredible job with your work this year. And so for people who are joining us right now, uh, we're going to shortly be getting into our awards. So this year's Long Island's Best is truly outstanding. And to tell us a little bit more about what set this year apart from any other, I would like to invite on Joy Wiener, our Director of Education, to tell us a little bit more about it. So we're gonna go ahead and give a second. Hi, Joy. <laughs> Hi, Lisa, how you doing? Very good, thank you so much for making time to come on here tonight. Oh, it's my pleasure. I'm so excited to virtually be here this evening. Congratulations to all the artists, their families and their teachers. Long Island's Best is without question my favorite exhibition every year and you are about to see why. <laughs> this evening, it is my honor to share some of the very impressive statistics. This is our 24th Long Island's Best. 388 students from 58 high schools entered this year's Long Island's Best competition. And 100 works of art were chosen in honor of our 100th anniversary. Long Island's Best is nothing short of extraordinary for so many reasons. I hope you all have a comfy seat and stay tuned for all of the excitement to come. Thank you so much, Lisa, for hosting and for having me on. Oh, of course. Thank you so much for sharing all of the awesome stats. Bye, Joy. Bye, everybody. Okay, so it was really great to hear the high impact that Long Island's Best has had this year. And we all know with everything going on in the world right now, the museum has had to get creative with this year's exhibition. So to talk a little bit more about the virtual opening of the show and voting for this year's Virtual Visitor's Choice Award, I would like to invite on Christina Schaff, our Director of Visitor Experience. So she's going ahead. Hi, Christina. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Hi, everybody. I'm doing really great. I'm excited to have you on here and to tell us a little bit more about all the cool things we have going on. 
Yes, so I'd like to share a little bit about the exhibit on our website. Um, as many of you may know, um, we just launched our brand new website at the end of March, um, just kind of in the middle of all of this, um, which actually turned out to be strangely good timing, um, a silver lining really um, in the middle of this. And because of this new site, we've Congrats, everybody. It's a fun society for students to gain inspiration from inspiration from themselves in inspiration show. In Anna. Yeah, I know. I completely agree. It really to cast. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and give a second. Hi, Joy. <laughs> Hi, Lisa, how you doing? Very good, thank you so much for making time to come on here tonight. Oh, it's my pleasure. I'm so excited to virtually be here this evening. Congratulations to all the artists, their families and their teachers. Long Island's Best is without question my favorite exhibition every year, and you are about to see why. <laughs> this evening, it is my honor to share some of the very impressive statistics. This is our 24th Long Island's Best. 388 students from 58 high schools entered this year's Long Island's Best competition, and 100 works of art were chosen in honor of our 100th anniversary. Long Island's Best is nothing short of extraordinary for so many reasons. I hope you all have a comfy seat and stay tuned for all of the excitement to come. Thank you so much, Lisa, for hosting and for having me on. Oh, of course. Thank you so much for sharing all the awesome stats. Bye, Joy. Bye, everybody. Okay, so it was really great to hear the high impact that Long Island's Best has had this year. And we all know with everything going on in the world right now, the museum has had to get creative with this year's exhibition. So to talk a little bit more about the virtual opening of the show and voting for this year's Virtual Visitor's Choice Award, I would like to invite on Christina Schaff, our Director of Visitor Experience. So she's going ahead. Hi, Christina. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Hi, everybody. I'm doing really great. I'm excited to have you on here and to tell us a little bit more about all the cool things we have going on. Yes. So I'd like to share a little bit about the exhibit on our website. Um, as many of you may know, um, we just launched our brand new website at the end of March, um, just kind of in the middle of all of this. Um, which actually turned out to be strangely good timing, um, a silver lining really um, in the middle of this. And because of this new site, we've really been able to not only include images of everyone's phenomenal artwork this year, but also have everyone's statements up there and images of the artwork that inspired everybody. So um, if you haven't had a chance, definitely check out the site. Um, we're really um, happy to represent the show virtually this year in that way. Yeah, I know. I completely agree. It really worked out that the timing of our new website uh, happened when it did. So is there anything that people can keep an eye out for? Uh, yes. So in the upcoming weeks, um, we will be sharing some new content. Um, we'll be posting behind the scenes photos that we received. Mm -hmm. from many of this year's teachers. So thank you so much to all the teachers who sent those photos in. Um, there are pictures of uh, classes as they visited the museum during their field trips, as well as photos of students creating their artwork back at school. Mm -hmm. So that should be a great addition to our site. And actually we'll be looking at a couple of them coming soon in the live, I know, which should be great. Mm -hmm. um, and then in addition to that, we'll also be um, sharing some video content. We're making some videos about select artwork in the show, so that will be added to the website. 
website as well in the coming weeks. Ah, I'm super excited for that. And what can you tell us about the voting for the Virtual Visitor's Choice Award? Um, well, if you haven't done so already, um, I definitely encourage everybody to cast your votes for this year's um, Virtual Visitor's Choice Award winner. It's the one award that, of course, has not been determined yet. Mm -hmm. And I have to say that I know, I think I speak on behalf of everybody at the museum. We have been so blown away by the response to this this year. We have received over 8,000 votes this year so far, <laughs> um, which is unbelievable from people around the globe. We've had votes coming in from Spain, the UK, Italy, Ireland, the Ukraine, uh, the Dominican Republic, South Korea. It's just unbelievable. Um, so a huge thank you to everyone who has voted so far. And if you haven't, um, please do so and keep spreading the word as you all have been clearly. <laughs> yes. um, the link is in our bio and of course on our website. And voting will be going on through Sunday, May 17th at 10 o'clock in, in the evening. And Lisa, I'm really excited that you then will be back on Insta Live that Thursday, uh, May 21st, to announce the winner um, live on Insta. So thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much for coming on and telling us about all the great news we can look forward to. Yes, congrats, everybody. It's a phenomenal show. Have a great night. Thanks, Christine. Enjoy the rest of the live. Bye. OK, so I know you guys might be like, Lisa, you work there. Why are you so surprised? Every day, that number has gone up. And last time I checked, it was not 8,000. So really, Hector's going global. And I really urge you guys to cast your vote because clearly, competition is very high. I know I've sent in my vote, and you guys need to do the same. So Ally Besters, as we fondly call them, go through this really interesting process to get into the exhibition. So myself and Alyssa Matthews, my fellow educator, we teach every student that comes into the museum. And so I thought it'd be really nice if we could look back and reflect over the journey each artist takes. And I'm gonna have Alyssa actually come on and tell us about this year's students and their process. So I'm excited to have Alyssa on here. Hey, Liz. Hi, Lisa, how you doing? Very good, it's nice to virtually see you. You too, wait, did you match your lipstick to your backdrop? I kinda did, did oh, I do good? Man. It looks phenomenal. Oh, well, thank you. And hi, everybody. So, um, we are so excited to be here virtually with you guys tonight. It has been an amazing experience getting to see this process all the way from its earliest stages up until all 100 works of art were selected for this exhibition. So since September, Lisa and I have been teaching classes to these shows, mm -hmm. and it has been so much fun to see all these results that have come in. Um, we really try to encourage students to really think outside the box and remember that we don't want them to be recreating something, but we want them to take um, even a small connection or a theme and to really expand upon that and really make it their own. Uh, we had asked teachers to submit some behind the scenes photos this year. And it was so much fun getting to see the earlier stages of uh, their artwork and then the results that would come into the museum afterwards. Um, you could tell there were a lot of students that were experimenting, sometimes going out of their comfort zone. And that's exactly what made everything so exciting. Uh, we had four incredible exhibitions that were up this year, including artwork by Mort Kunzler and Gabriela Gonzalez de Loso, as well as two exhibitions from our permanent collection, A Fine Line and Locally Source. And be between the four, I felt like it offered so much variety for students to gain inspiration from. And on a personal note, I just want to say that I'm so proud of everyone that not only um, is exhibiting, but just everyone that participated in the show. Um, you guys put in all the hard work and it really, really shined through. And we're all just so proud of you guys. Honestly, I mean, I cannot agree more. Alyssa and I were right there together and we talk about it all the time, how honored we feel to be able to experience it from the very beginning and then until the very end. And now being able to celebrate with everybody here. Absolutely. So 
Thanks so much for coming on, Alyssa. Enjoy the rest of the Thank live. You. Congrats again, guys. Bye. Bye. Okay, so it was really fun to get kind of walk down memory lane with Alyssa and just kind of look back through some photos of the kids being in the museum and then as well as in their classrooms and looking at the behind the scenes. Uh, so truly, everybody has come so far with their individual journeys. And I think we were really able to see that shine through with all the artwork that was selected to be in this year's exhibition. So now, without further ado, let's honor all 100 artists. So please make sure to send hearts if you see your artwork come up, which it will. And if you are an exhibiting teacher, please let us know when you see your students work up there. And if you're joining us, if you're family, friends, please send encouragement, confetti, hearts, and to really appreciate all of these fabulous artists and their hard work. Without further ado, let's get to see all of this amazing art. Okay, so as we're watching here, uh, the images are going to be coming up in alphabetical order and it's all 100 and not only can you see them right now, but you can always visit our website and we have the entire exhibition up where not only is it the image of the students work, but it shows side by side the inspiration artwork that they chose and then create their artwork based off of that and then the cherry on top and my favorite to be honest with you is you also have their artist statements. And so through that, you're really able to hear the students' own words, uh, what their process was like, uh, what they were thinking behind it, how maybe they changed their process halfway through. So there's a lot of cool things that you can find out uh, through their backstories in their artist statements. So I highly recommend you guys to go and check that out. So as we're looking through, you guys will notice that we have a huge diverse range of art that came in this year. So we'll, we have anywhere from photographs, to drawings, to paintings, to mixed media, sculpture. And not only that, I think the kids really challenged themselves in experimenting. We had quite a few amazing oil paintings, which is not an easy medium to work with at all. Uh, and then for the kids who then even went further and challenged their own style, and I think they really honed in and found a style that works for them, whether it was very, um, you know, illustrative or it was abstract. And let me tell you, when you're young, it is not easy to find a style that you can really call your own. There's artists that go through their entire lives without saying that they have their own personal style. So for these young artists to be able to have that is really unbelievable. And you'll see that we have a lot of high schools that are being represented, like Joy mentioned, almost 60 across Nassau and Suffolk County. And as we're looking here, if you maybe haven't seen some of these before, keep your eyes peeled for a favorite so you can go ahead onto our website and cast your vote for the Virtual Visitor's Choice Award. So again, honestly, this is my third time being a part of Long Island's Best. And I feel like every year it just keeps getting better and better. And I think to myself, how is it possible that these students just keep knocking it out of the park. And we see anywhere from incredibly photorealistic things to things that I've never even seen before. So that was all 100 artists in the show. And I really wanna give each and every one of you a super warm congratulations. I am so proud of you guys. And I really wish hopefully soon we'll be able to go and see all of this work in the museum in real life. Okay, and I see a lot of people mentioning the ones that they liked, uh, naming a few of them. Thank you so much for sharing your support, guys. So now that I've shown you all 100 exhibiting artists, it is now time for the awards portion of tonight. So without further ado, let's get to it. So for our first award, I'm going to present the Andrew Pressburg Promising Young Artist Award. So this is generously donated by the law offices of Andrew Pressburg. The first award goes to Benjamin Herbert. Congratulations, Benjamin. This is titled Ghouls in the Desert. And if you guys notice, like the uh, title of the award suggests, he's only in the 10th grade and it really has created an incredible work of art. Congrats, Benjamin. For our second Andrew Pressburg Promising Young Artist Award, it goes to... Annika Galvin. Congratulations, Annika. 
So again, she is even younger than Benjamin in the ninth grade and has made this stunning drawing. So really be super proud of yourself. Congrats, Annika. For our next award, I would like to present the Donald and Gloria Horn Scholarship Award. This is generously donated by Christine Macte. The award goes to Noel Giambroni Hadalaski. Congratulations, Noel. So you can see, as I mentioned previously, while we had a lot of drawings and paintings, uh, hers was actually mixed media and she really knocked it out of the park. Congratulations again, Noel. For our Do the Donald G. Horn Jr. Scholarship Award, I would like to present it to Erica Lopez. Congratulations, Erica. So she's actually from Plainville Bethpage, John F. Kennedy High School, which is my high school that I went to. And this is for her beautiful colored pencil piece, Sunsets on the Shore. Now, if you guys wait till the end of the awards, we'll actually be having Erica come on to join us and I'll ask her a few questions about her work of art. So make sure you stay tuned. Congrats again, Erica. So for our next set of awards, I'll be presenting the Huntington Fine Arts Institute Award of Excellence. So the scholarships go to the following students. First, we have Jocelyn Herrera. Congratulations, Jocelyn. I know everybody was absolutely blown away when they saw this piece come into the museum. Congratulations. For our second award of excellence, I would like to present it to Maya Ashler Pierce. Congrats, Maya. This was an amazing charcoal piece. Really, really fantastic. For our next award of excellence, I would like to present it to Alexa Miller. So this is called Gilded and it's a, an acrylic painting. Congratulations, Alexa. Next up, the award goes to Kaylin Huang. So this is Flying Colors and it is also an acrylic painting. And I would like to wish you congratulations again, Kaylin. For our last Huntington Fine Arts Institute Award of Excellence, the award goes to Vivian Lavertu. So fun fact that I thought I would share with you guys is that Vivian has actually already been in a Long Island Fest before. So clearly she is super talented and we can't wait to see what else you do in the future. Congratulations again, Vivian. So for our next award, this is titled the Koza Family Photography Award. So this is given by the family of Emily Koza, and she's actually a former exhibiting artist from Long Island's Best 2018. The winner of this award is Courtney Gerard. Congratulations, Courtney. This is a fantastic photograph, and it always makes me think about how difficult it must have been to get this particular shot under the water. So congratulations. Next up, this is a first time award that we're having this year. It's called the Firefly Artist Next Generation Award. And so this is given by the Firefly Artist Gallery in Northport. The first award goes to Maya Auschler Pierce. Once again, congratulations. So this is your second award. And I know there were a lot of people who truly loved your piece. So congratulations again. Our second Firefly Gallery Award goes to Katerina Kobotich. Congratulations, Katerina. Fantastic job on this digital photograph. All right. So for our next set of awards, I'll be presenting the Renzo and Lynette Bianchi Scholarship Awards. So since the year 2000, members of the Bianchi family have proudly given these awards to six deserving young artists. As I announce each award, I will also be sharing thoughts from Christopher Renzo Bianchi. So for our first award, I would like to give it to Erica Chen. So Christopher said that he thought Erica's deft use of pastel provides both fine detail and a soft expression in a moment of comfort. Congratulations, Erica. For our second award, it goes to Rachel Ferraro. So for Rachel, Christopher said that he thought her the blending of colors and the use of negative space conveys the strong emotion within this piece. I couldn't agree more. Congratulations, Rachel. For the next award, I would like to present it to Olivia Golubuski. So Christopher 
shared that he thought her painterly use of colored pencil seamlessly captures the emotions of the subject. Great job, Olivia. Congratulations again. Okay, and I see Janet Koza says, congratulations. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you to everybody for sharing all of your support. I know everyone really appreciates it as well as I do. So for our next award, I would like to present it to Samantha Cohn. So Christopher shared that he thought Samantha's strong social message is expressed by both a crisp graphic detail and emotionally charged imagery. Congratulations, Samantha. For our next award, I would like to give it to Angelise Santiago. So Christopher said that he thought Angelise expertly blended the human form and the subject's emotions to create a strong sculptural statement. And Angelise will also be one of our students who will be joining us at the very end of the live and we'll be able to ask some questions about her piece. Congratulations again, Angelise. And for our last Renzo and Lynette Bianchi Scholarship Award, I would like to give it to Tyler Walsh. Congratulations, Tyler. Uh, Christopher shared with us that he thought Tyler's use of negative space creates considerable emotional depth. Great job, everybody. Congratulations again. So we actually have another first time award and it is called the Renzo and Lynette Bianchi Hector Centennial Scholarship Award. And this was established for the Hector's 100th anniversary. I would like to give this award to Sophia D. Giovanni. So Christopher said that he felt that Sophia superbly captures geometric forms and enhances them with a perfect blending of light and shadow. I definitely agree with that. Congratulations, Sophia. Wonderful job. And again, congratulations to all of our winners so far tonight. Okay, so we now have our achievement awards. And so to give these out, I thought it'd be nice if we had another special guest. So if you would please help me in welcoming our guest juror, Nancy Richner. So Nancy has been an arts educator her whole life. And she was most recently the executive director of the Hofstra University Museum of Art. So I'm now going to have and welcome on Nancy. Okay, we're getting her connected here. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Lisa, how are you? I'm doing really great. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. It's my pleasure to be here. And it's so exciting to see all these names that we have gotten to know over these I past know, couple exactly. of months. I know, exactly. I couldn't agree more. It's interesting how we went from the judging process and now it's all done and having this. So it's really great to see it. And now it's all about the students. So exactly. I Although I do want to thank um, you and, and the whole Hexer staff for inviting me to be the guest juror. It's quite an honor. And um, I was so impressed by the outstanding quality, diversity, and quantity of, I know. The, <laughs> of the works that were submitted this year. Mm -hmm. It makes me think very positively and optimistically about um, our future for our students and for the art world. So oh, and now for the um, awards, the Achievement Awards. There are four of them. And the first award is for Excellence in Oil Painting, which, as you had said, is quite, quite an achievement. And this award goes to Aksa Ansari from Hicksville High School for her painting, Vanishing Insecurities. Mm -hmm. And Aksa's use of paint to heighten the emotional impact of her work is masterful. Her limited color palette and her sophisticated technical skills of realism create an intense sense of discomfort and mystery and draws the viewer right into that painting. So congratulations, Aksa. The next achievement award is for a work that excels in, off in offering a social commentary. And this award goes to Kylie Finn from Valley Stream Central High School for her pastel drawing, American Stalker. We were so impressed by the power of Kylie's work, which urges viewers to confront their own involvement in stereotyping. She portrays a young black man as both society's feared stalker and its fearful victim. Mm. These opposing roles play into our assumptions and our prejudices and leads us, I hope, 
to question our biases and our values. So congratulations, Kylie. Uh, next is the Achievement Award for Use of Color. And that goes to Jocelyn Herrera from Mineola High School for her colored draw, uh, pencil drawing, Homeless in New York. And congratulations, this is your second award tonight. Um, although not colorful, Jocelyn's judicious use of color and lack of it is used to great advantage in her drawing. The gray tones of the background, bleak and urban environment recede, forcing us to pay attention to the homeless man and his plight, which the artist depicted in realistic and yet subdued somber colors. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Congratulations, Jocelyn. And our final achievement award is for realism in colored pencil. This award goes to Lillian Stone from John F. Kennedy High School for her drawing Grandma and Poppy. Lillian said she sought to present the feelings of nostalgia, warmth, and love of family and home. The incredible realistic details of her drawing, the warm understated colors, the close perspectives on the expressive faces of her grandparents all lead to the joyful sense of family that Lillian shares with us. Congratulations, mm -hmm. Lillian, and congratulations to everyone for making this a most successful and unique Long Island's Best Awards. Yes, thank you so much for coming on, Nancy. And I know I and everyone else appreciates really getting to hear the behind the reasons why each uh, piece was awarded what they were given. And it was such a difficult honor. <laughs> I know, it was it. really hard picking, but you and Carly really knocked out of the park, did an awesome job. I, I think it was great. Um, people should know it took three days to yeah. do this. So it was, it was a lot of thought that went into these. So congratulations to everyone. Yes, thank you so much, Nancy. Have a great night. Enjoy the rest of the live. I will, bye. Bye. Okay, so thank you once again to Nancy. And I didn't want to cut her off, but I did see a lot of our award winners uh, saying thank you and uh, sh show and everybody showing their support. So I saw OXO was there, uh, so Jocelyn was there. So really congratulations to all of you once again. Your work was phenomenal. So now we are going to be getting into our top four awards. And you guessed it, I have one more special guest waiting for us. And I would like to introduce our curator and juror, Carly Wurzelbacher. So Carly actually joined the museum last summer and she's an active scholar in the field of 20th century American art. So I'm now gonna be inviting on Carly to help us announce our top four. We're getting Carly on here. Hi, Carly. Hi. How are you doing? Very good. You're doing a great job. This is the most fun I've had in six <laughs> weeks. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad to provide a uh, bright spot in everybody's time at home. Um, so in addition to saying thank you for having me, um, thank you to everyone who's watching, and thank you to all of the students who submitted artwork to Long Island's Best. Mm -hmm. um, I'm pleased to have the opportunity to acknowledge the following four artists, each of whom thoughtfully used the artwork that they observed in the museum as a meaningful point of departure for their own ideas. We'll start with fourth place, the Stan Brodsky Scholarship Award. Stan Brodsky was an esteemed Long Island artist, educator, and mentor whose work is represented in the museum's collection. Stan's legacy lives on through this award which was made possible by 91 donors. So the award goes to Bridget Buckmaster from Northport High School for her digital photograph, Checkmate. The Outstanding Teacher Award goes to her art teacher, John DeRosa. This dramatic image experiments with the range of digital photography, managing to balance the documentary aspects of the medium with its formal and abstract possibilities. Mm -hmm. Uh, third place, the Hadley Prize, which is generously sponsored by Robin Hadley, Chair of the Museum's Board of Trustees. This award goes to Micarlis Ramirez from Brentwood High School for her painting, Idalim in a Green Chair. 
The Outstanding Teacher Award goes to her art teacher, James Schultz. This painting hints at the complexity of children's inner lives. The figure's posture and inscrutable gaze create a mood that is heightened by the scale of the chair, which is almost a second character in the portrait. Congratulations. Uh, second place, the Judith Spasato Memorial Prize, which is generously donated by the Spasato family. This award was established by her husband, Frank, son, Jeffrey, his partner, Peter Cohen, and Judith's honor. This award goes to Matthew Deasing from John F. Kennedy High School for his drawing, A Seat at the Table. The Outstanding Teacher Award goes to his art teacher, Vanessa Albanese. This work seems to be part portrait, part abstraction, part architectural rendering. The artist constructs a maze of eyes and teeth from the simplest of shapes, circles, curves, triangles, and trapezoids. Awesome. And now I'm pleased to announce this evening's final award, the Celebrate Achievement Best in Show which is generously sponsored by the Heckscher Museum Benefit Donors of 2014. This award goes to Stephanie Lopez from Hicksville High School for her painting, Prismatic Bubble. The Outstanding Teacher Award goes to her artist, goes to her art teacher, uh, Craig Matiunas. This painting successfully grapples with the challenges of illusionistic representation. It juxtaposes the structure and fleshiness of the hand with an evanescent pocket of air. And I especially love that little crescent of color where mm -hmm. light plays across the soapy surface. So congratulations to all four of these winners. Yes, congratulations. Thank you so much for joining us, Carly. It was really great getting to hear your thoughts and uh, everything going on behind the jurying process. Yes, thank you, thank you. Of course, have an awesome night and enjoy the rest of the live. Okay, bye. Bye, Carly. <laughs> okay, guys, so that was all of our awards. So really, congratulations to all 100 exhibiting artists and as well as everybody who received an award tonight. Truly amazing, amazing show. And I see a lot of you encouraging and supporting one another in the comments, and I think it's absolutely fantastic. And I know I keep uh, mentioning the students, but of course, I have to talk about the teachers who really help these students so much in their process, uh, working with them when they run into hurdles, uh, when they're, you know, getting tripped up or, you know, they just want to quit. So really, everybody did such a fantastic job in making this happen. So thank you so much. So now, like I mentioned, I'm actually going to be inviting a few of the exhibiting students and award winners to come on and I'm, we're going to ask a few questions and get to know a little bit more about what it was like uh, working on their works of art. So first up, I would like to invite on Stephanie and let's see if we can get connected with her. Let me see if I can find her here. Stephanie, if you hear me, go ahead and send a request in so I can get you on here live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can find her. Aha. Okay, let's see if I can connect. We're waiting for Stephanie. Maybe, maybe. Oh, oh. Hello. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm nervous, but I'm good. Please don't be nervous. I'm so excited to have you on here. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, I see your name all the time because I'm working <laughs> with the, the artwork, but it's nice to finally be able to put a face to a name. <laughs> uh, so question, what was your reaction when you got the phone call and you found out you won Best in Show? Um, I ran down to my parents and told them. <laughs> oh. I'm so grateful for it. Like, I can't believe it. Ah, that's amazing. Well, congrats again. You definitely deserve it. Thank you. So I wanted to ask you a question. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. So when I saw your work, the first thing that popped in my head was, wow, that is incredibly <laughs> photorealistic. So first of all, what made you choose a bubble for your subject? And do you normally create work that is hyper-realistic like that? Well, like the piece I took inspiration from, it was a light bulb. And mm. I automatically thought like, like something like 
like the aspect of fragility and like something that you can hold yeah you know, the bubble like you can hold it mm-hmm. but like the minute like you move your hand like it'll pop like automatically yeah that's like a- last like a light bulb like if you drop it it's done mm-hmm. for yeah and you really was were able to capture like that moment and like mm-hmm. you said the fragility so really congratulations again your work is stunning <laughs> and uh, for anybody watching please make sure to go online to the website and check out what she had to say about her artwork. And do you happen to have, uh, do you put art on your Instagram? Um, not really. Okay, I well, used, I used to have like an old account and then I don't mm-hmm. use it anymore. Okay. Well, no problem. Thanks so much for coming on tonight. Thank you for having me. And thank of course. You for Congrats well. again. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay. That was Steph. I'm so happy we got connected. Uh, so next up, I would like to invite on Matthew Deezing. So let's see if we can get him on here. Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. I did see his name pop up before. Let me find him here. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for staying on and joining this little impromptu Q&A. So we can get Matt on here. Wait. Hi, Matt. Oh, hi. How are you? How are you? Good. So question. I'm do good. you go by Matt or do you go by Matthew? Um, it doesn't matter, but I guess, I guess Matt. Um, Matt? Okay, we'll still casual. We'll say Matt. Yeah. So congratulations on winning second place. Thank you. Thank this you. Is absolutely amazing. So uh, I wanted to ask you a couple questions about your art. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. So when your work came in, it stood out really because of how different your style was from anything else we had seen come in the museum. Uh, what made you go in like that abstract direction? Or is that normally what you do? Or was it something um, you do? Yeah, I mean, it's normally what I do. Um, mm-hmm. I've done like like a lot of those ones. It's kind of like fluent. Like mm-hmm. for me to do, do that stuff, it's all like one go. Mm-hmm. I do it. Um, yeah, I've done, I've done a lot of that stuff. Awesome, cool. And so I noticed that the title of your piece is A Seat at the Table. So why did you decide to name it that? Um, mostly because, I, I mean, when I went, went to the museum, um, mm-hmm. it, 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 se- it se- uh, seems like very like realistic. And I feel like, like that term, seat at the ta- to take a seat at the table, means mm-hmm. um, like, you don't, you, it's not really yours to be at, but you're kind of just taking uh, control of it and you're kind of just making it yours. Um, but I mean, really, uh, but I mean, I don't really title um, my work. I just give it like numbers and stuff, just like oh. out of which one it is. Yeah. Um, but I just decided to call it that for the um, uh, contest. So mm-hmm. it didn't seem like I was being lazy with the <laughs> title or something. So. Well, just to say, we did have people send in their work with untitled. So you could have done it, but I'm really happy you put okay. the effort. Oh, yeah. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. So again, congratulations. And thank you so much for taking time to come on here. Yeah, thank you for having me. Of course. No problem. Stay safe. Bye. You too. All right, bye. Okay, so that was Matt. I have a couple of more students that will be joining us. And next up, we have me, Carlos. So let's see if I can get her connected on here. Going to quickly look for her. Me, Carlos, me, Carlos. Just give me a second here, searching for her name. All right, I found her. Let's see if I can get her on. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Just a little nervous. Oh, please don't be nervous. It's just the two of us, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so question, have I been saying your name correctly? Me, Carlos? Yes. yes. Oh, perfect. Okay. So again, I have to wish you congratulations in person. Thank you. Your piece was phenomenal. It's like such a great painting. Uh, so I wanted to ask you a question about your art. Is that all right? Mm-hmm. So I read from your artist statement that you used your sister as your model, right? Yeah. Okay, so I was really curious, did you ask her to pose for you live while you sketched or painted? Or did you have to uh, take a reference photo and work from that? I used the reference photo to work. 
Oh, okay. And did she like give like put up a fight when you asked her like to put on a dress and stuff, or was she happy to do it? Yeah, she was. The first day I tried, and she's like, "No, I can't do it." So I had to take two days oh. to take a picture. So what was her reaction when you told her that you won an award? She was so happy. She's like, "Oh my god, I'm gonna be in a museum." <laughs> She certainly is. And hopefully once we have uh, the museums back open, we can all go and visit and you guys can see it together. Yes. All right. Awesome. Well, congratulations. And thank you so much for joining me and stay safe. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. No problem. Bye. All right. So that was me, Carlos. Congratulations. I really loved hearing the behind the scenes with her little sister on how she didn't want to actually pose for her, but she was happy once her sister won the award. Uh, so I have two more people who will be joining me tonight. Next up is Angeli Santiago. So let me go ahead and get her up here. Let me find her. Angelis, Angelis. Just looking, sorry guys, bear with me for a second. I'm just looking for her handle. Okay, so I don't see her here. So maybe I will go to our next person and then we can always come back to her afterwards if she's here. Okay, give it a one last look to see if I can find her. No. All right, so our last student that I was going to have come on here is Erica Lopez. So let me give it another shot and see if I can find Erica here. Oh, I see her. Perfect. Ding, ding. Hi. Hi, Erica. How are you? Good. How are you? Very good. So first and foremost, I had to tell you, you go to POV, right? Yes. So I was the class of 2012. So it's really <laughs> fun for me to be here with you. What year are you graduating? 2021. 2021. Okay. Very nice. So I have to wish you congratulations on your award. Thank you. Yes. So I wanted to ask you a question about your work, and I'm actually going to pull it up here so people can see it. It's a really, really gorgeous uh, colored pencil drawing. Uh, so is it based on a, a picture that you took of some place? Did you create it out of your head or a mix of things? I really wanted to know. So it's based on a picture I took at the Florida Keys in Isla Morado. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, cool. <laughs> Amazing. And do you normally work in colored pencil or is that something you tried new? Yeah, I usually work in colored pencil. Oh, amazing. So when you heard that you won the award, what was your reaction? I was so excited, and I told my parents immediately. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, well, hopefully we'll be able to see your work in person. And for everyone, uh, please check it out on the website and see what she had to say in her artist statement. Thanks for coming on, Erica. Thank you so much. No problem. Congratulations. Bye. Bye. Okay, so let me see if I can get Angelise on here one more time. All right, I think this is her. I think. If this is you, Angelise, make sure you accept. If not, whoever this person is, you can decline. Hi! Hi. Angelise, right? Yes. Okay, so just wanted to make sure. Am I saying your name correctly? Uh, yeah, no, you oh, are. Thank perfect, you. Perfect, perfect. So congratulations on your award. I'm actually going to bring it up. Oops. Bring it up so everybody can see it again. All right. So <laughs> I know from your artist statement that you said that this was actually your only or second time working with clay and doing sculpting. So what was your process like? And did you find it any, any easier than the first time you tried? Um, my process was so new that because mm -hmm. I, I haven't I don't work with clay usually I, I usually work with a uh, pencil and uh, graphite uh, well, yeah um, so it was very shaky and mm -hmm. I had to I had to maneuver a lot um, mm -hmm. the tilt in our head wasn't actually supposed to be like tilted like that Oh, okay. I didn't, I don't, I did not know how to do this well, but I tried my best. 
this. <laughs> oh, well, you clearly succeeded. And honestly, sometimes your yeah. mistakes end up being the thing that kind of takes you to the next level. And that's kind of a fun thing. I don't know if you would agree Very about experimenting. You know, because you're trying something new, new things come about and it ends up being really great in this case. Yes. It was, yes. Thank you so, so much. So I hope you keep experimenting and we're really excited and happy about your piece. I, I am. Thank you so much. Amazing. Okay. Congratulations and please stay safe and healthy. You too. Bye. Bye. Howard. Okay, so that was all of our guest exhibiting artists and award winners. Thank you so much for everybody for joining us today. It has been my absolute pleasure being a host and uh, being able to create this event and having all of you guys come on here. And I know I keep saying it, but I cannot stop saying it enough. Really, all of you guys, pat yourselves on the back. I'm going to give you a round of applause. Uh, I truly think this year was a, a really, really special and um, everybody should be incredibly happy and proud of themselves. So thank you to everybody who was here, who was commenting and interacting with one another in the comments. This would not have been possible without you guys for making it a really happy and great event. Uh, and if anybody joined in in the middle of this and they didn't catch some stuff, we will be re-uploading this and you can find it in our highlights. So again, uh, stay connected with us, stay safe, and have a wonderful night, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.